If there was just one thing that I could tell to the people of Ireland, especially those who are wanting to vote yes to the referendum which would legalize abortion, it is please, please, please follow the money. I had something really interesting happen when I was over there a few months ago. Um, it's the first time that I've looked out into the audience and the people who were there who disagreed with me, who were there to protest me, uh, actually probably had more in common with me than the people who invited me out to speak. And let me explain. So I follow something called the consistent life ethic, right? Which is this belief that human beings should be free from violence for the duration of their lifetime. And that goes well beyond the womb. Um, as I was sitting there speaking, one of the people who was part of the repeal campaign raised his hand and he asked me about, you know, violence, different forms of violence and how capitalism and poverty actually makes people much more uh, vulnerable to violence. And I loved this question because Basically, what he was asking me is, how do we stand up for the poor and marginalized? Because obviously, this is something he was passionate about, and it's something we're very passionate about, too. And I was able to explain to him that if you were to legalize abortion in Ireland, you would likely see exactly what we have here in the States, which is an industry that has moved into inner city communities, um, very poor, oftentimes minority, and targeted them with a message of abortion. And basically, what the federal government is saying is that it's much cheaper for you to have this abortion. It's better for everybody involved, actually, if you do this, especially with a government that has socialized medicine. So over there, it's much more expensive for them to pay the cost of labor and delivery than it is for an abortion. Furthermore, if this is an unplanned pregnancy, there's probably a lot of other expenses and government aid and help that you're going to need. So when I hear people in Ireland say, you know, abortions still happen over here, but it's only the privileged few who get to fly to other countries to have this procedure done. What they don't realize is that abortion is always about privilege, always. It is only the upper echelon, the top few percent of women who actually have a choice, right? I mean, those are the ones who could choose to parent because they have the financial support to do so. They have the information and resources to even understand how to navigate the adoption system. And then they have abortion. So for them, yes, they have a choice. But a majority of women, especially impoverished women who face abortion, don't have that privilege at all. They feel like this is absolutely their only choice. Add to that the fact that you legalize it and you basically open the floodgates to an industry that can now profit off of women having abortions and furthermore not just make money on the abortion procedure itself but ultimately save money for the government in the long run because it's much cheaper to subsidize a $500 abortion than it is a $9,000, $11,000 labor and delivery fee. It becomes very clear why a government entity would want to legalize abortion. If you care about the poor, if you care about the marginalized, if you care about the weak and the innocent, please, please, please understand that legalizing abortion does nothing more than put a target on their heads.